Well, hello there to my Leos. This is Queen Amunra coming to you with your general reading. Happy Midweek Wednesday. You may be watching this video on Tuesday, the 2nd of January, 2024. We are even. We are in a whole new year. We're in 2024, the year of wealth. However, we're in a, still in the cycle, right? The cycle does not end until the 10th of January. And we're right now feeling the effects of this last quarter moon phase in Libra. In Libra. Libra is all about balance. We're not talking about any Libras that you know. Libra is the zodiac sign that sits in the middle of all the other zodiac sign. The symbol of the scales, right? So this is where you want to learn how to balance out your life. More peaceful life moving forward. A balance of masculine and feminine energy. Let's go. Energy has already been clear, Leos. Let's do it. Here you are sitting on your throne. Comfortably sitting on your throne. You want to receive more um, more people who are saying down, you're down to earth, you're relatable. People want to give you more things, give you more wealth of information, knowledge, discernment, give you more prosperity. If, and so you have to be in receiving mode. You have to be in receiving mode. We're kicking off with the queen of pentacles. We also have the uh, four of pentacles. This is where you're being more conservative with your time. In other words, not, you know, looking at 24 hours of the day and deciding what am I going to give my time to? That's what source really wants somebody to start focusing on. What are you going to give your time to? If you are on your throne and you have a crown on your head and you're trying to get to your crown chakra being aligned, that means that everything that you are speaking out of your mouth is from one energy to another human beings from their throne to your throne not lower vibrational even if you're having those negative thoughts you're turning into something positive turning into something positive so yeah you're not wasting a whole lot of time on feeling like you were a fool in the past you're closing out a cycle and moving on with your life from something you've been working really really hard and more money is trying to come in this is the year of wealth and we're not just talking about uh, prosperity and career success, wealth of knowledge, wisdom, discernment, uh, adaptability, joy, all of those things that you've been asking for, security, stability, abundance of patience, loyalty, all of those things. So sources saying put a manhole cover over the past because every time you go back and replay the past over and over and again, emotionally, it takes you to a lower place. And here we have the star card. Somebody said, I should have I should not have put as much energy as I put into it. You're a star in your own right. There's more than one star in the sky. They're lighting it, lighting up the sky to help change, help better people's lives. That moon out there in the sky exposes everybody's emotions as to whose star is shining. If you're comparing yourself, the only energy that source wants you to compare yourself with is you. Put a manhole cover over the past. Your wishes are being fulfilled. Five and four is nine. Nine of cups. Your wishes will be fulfilled when you put the past behind you. Whatever it is that you've been wanting to do. Travel more. Meet more people. Whatever it is. Um, booked and busy looks like it. Booked and busy looks like it. And so instead of burdened by something from your past. Queen of Pentacles came out twice. Again. If, if you're not adjusting someone's crown by saying something kind and positive to them or about them or don't think about them at all or move on from whatever. So it's just like because this right here, three and seven of swords, lets me know that somebody has, they you have survived a lot of backstabbing, Judas spirits, you've survived a lot of hurt, right? So as a divine masculine sign, your energy being directed outward, remember your um your card in tarot is the strength card and it's usually someone standing next to the lion or in front of it or some standing beside it and so animals are quite reactive right so sources saying instead of being reactive and thinking the worst i gotta go on attack somebody say something i gotta go on attack somebody does something i gotta go on attack learn how to respond feminine energy i want more of something so I need to learn how to kind of sort of pull back and I need to be in that feminine energy, respond however source tells you how to respond. So I definitely see somebody's moving on from some kind of depth of disappointment and just, just moving forward, just moving forward. Putting a manhole cover over the past, that's how your wishes are going to be fulfilled. 
I mean, it's, it's just that simple. You know, we're talking about emotions. Sometimes it's not as simple as just putting your emotions away, especially if you've been deeply disappointed by something, but it can be done. You, this isn't the first time you've been disappointed by something and life moved on. This is a choice to land on the light side or the bright side of this moon in Libra. Where that creativity is heightened. That creativity is heightened. Because again, you don't have any competition. Nobody does, really. But uh, this is where you're looking in the mirror. You're doing the mirror work and saying, the only competition I have is me. The only competition I have is me. 11-11, I am awakening. So the universe is arranging people and experiences on your path to help you succeed and helping you to wake up to who you truly are. That's right. Step through those pillars. Step through those pillars. Whatever it is that... Um, and you feel like there's two situations in your life where you feel like somebody was holding on to some secrets or gaslighting or whatever it is you think. Source is saying, keep your vibrations high. Your words are creating your reality. Here is here are your questions for the moon and um, here are your questions for the moon in Libra because this is also important too for when we're talking about balance and peace, right? First question is, is your work bringing more peace, justice, beauty, or harmony to the world? And how could you amplify that? The second question, Leos, is what would happen if you were spent more time with people who um, who are completely at peace with themselves? That also makes a difference too, because if you're hanging out with emotionally low vibrating people that's always complaining and dumping all their problems onto you, then you got to find a way to flush it out. So if you have a job where people are constantly dumping their issues and problems onto you. Maybe you are, uh, like a lot of people will go to their hairstylist and look at their hairstylist as their therapist. They bring in all their problems to their barber, hairstylist. You could be a therapist. You could be a mechanic. And anywhere, any kind of job where you have where people are just, you know, they're dumping all of their issues onto you. You're going to find a, have to find a healthy way not to be dragged down. So like maybe holding space, if they're asking for um, if they're asking for your advice, maybe giving them advice, but they're looking for you to lead. So you're a leader in all capacities by default. So if people around you are dragging you down, keep bringing up stuff that you're ready to move on from, and you're trying to keep your vibration high saying, I'm not talking negatively about somebody unless I can help them to adjust their crown, then yeah, leave me out of that conversation. I don't want to be a part of it. That's what's going to help somebody to have your wishes fulfilled. Because I do see booked and busy and not burdened at all. So um, the third question is, do you receive as much as you give or vice versa? Fourth is, which small steps could you take to create more beauty in your space? And then last but not least is, what would happen if you were to shift from complaining to a permanent sense of gratitude? And even if it's not you that's the one that's complaining, Leos, it could be other people around you. They're constantly complaining right? Constantly complaining. You're like, oh my God, here they come again. I just want to run, <laughs> run to the opposite side of the street or run just, oh my God, and their name popped up on my phone. I don't even want to talk about it. I'm in a good space. I don't even want to talk about it. And so start letting things go to a voicemail. Start, you know, um, 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 leading, right? Really start leading. You're in receiving mode of some kind of an emotion that takes you down to a low frequency, not the best emotion. Okay, I can change that immediately. I don't have to be fixated on that particular emotion. I can speak up. I don't have to join in the reindeer game. So that's what Source is trying to tell you. It's more than one star in the sky. And um, and so um, can't tell you what to say. I can help you get to your throne a lot quicker, <laughs> but, and, and it's not negative. It's just like, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm vetting the thoughts that come across my mind. Do I give time to certain things and do I not give time to certain things? I don't have to be reactive when I have the option to respond. So landing on the light side of the moon, specifically for fire signs, a moon in Libra heightens your magnetism and flair and it adds to your ability to put original ideas into successful action so this is a great time that's what source is saying be conservative with your time right be conservative with your time everything is lining up for you so the more time you spend um in the past that's tick 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 ticking away at your 20 taking away from your 24 hours in a day and then add that up to a week 
a month, a year, right? And so how much time have you spent on something that sources say, uh, I'm trying to keep you on your throne and I'm trying to make you booked and busy. And every time somebody brings something up, it's a trigger for somebody. It's like, okay, maybe I need to cut that person off or those people off so it's not constantly being brought up so I can start focusing on keeping my vibration high and getting information. Because in receiving mode, you're also receiving downloads from source, instruction from source. So that is what I have for you all. Let's pull a few more cards and let's go ahead and close this out, Leos. But again, happy midweek Wednesday. Happy midweek Wednesday. Yeah, this uh, last quarter moon is about finishing strong. I'm flushing all of that other stuff out. I'm, I'm right at the root. I'm not giving it any of my time slash money. I am pure magic because you are. That's right. Step through that. Those pillars. Step through, step through, step through. Uh, let's see. Uh, do, 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 do. <sighs> Yes, this year of wealth, the number eight, the number eight is the money exchange number. The dark side of the number eight would be uh, people who have succumbed to passive and powerless behavior or um, energies that are egotistical, materialistic, and forceful, right? Just can't move, doesn't have a clear vision for how you can play your part in helping to better mankind. That's the dark side of the number eight, this light and dark side to all energy. The light side is I have a clear vision for my life and what and what my my God given gifts and talents, my unique God given gifts and talents, how you know I've already I already know that source is sending um infinite amount of resources to help me to accomplish my mission here on earth. I know what I want to. I don't have any competition. Even if your store is right next to somebody else's store, you all are selling similar products. Whatever is still something about you that's unique that's going to sell more of this than that one. You don't have to necessarily be in that. I got to compete with them. I got to take them out of business. I got to. There's really enough for everybody. So a lot of people will find that out this year. Here we have courage. Let me be open to courageously take the steps that are shown. That's it. That is it. One last card and let's close it out. So I was born with the same gift from God we are all born with, the impulse to reach out and lessen the suffering of another human being. It's a gift. It was a gift. And we each had a choice whether to use this gift or not. That's a quote from Anthony Ray Hinton. For those of you all who want to take a screenshot of that, ask yourself, how am I choosing to use my gifts of compassion and empathy in the world. And that's even towards your enemies who you think are your enemies, right? Um, but again, at your crown chakra, you see everything is connected. So whether people see you as an enemy or not, you don't see them as an enemy. That would be at that. I got to get the lower chakras together. If you feel like somebody is your enemy, just steer clear of those. They'll say that you, cause we have almost 9 billion on the people on this planet. I mean, almost 9 billion people on this planet and source is trying to help you get to your group of people that you can help brighten their lives. So that's what you want to focus on. That is what I see for you all, Leos. I will see you all on Freedom Friday. Bye.